a hell of a brother. I didn't realize that until I was older. I wanted, you know, I come from a big city and at a time of rappers and you know, the, the girlfriend or the, the, the girl they was with, you know, just dressing up and being on scene and being seen with them. Mm -hmm. So I, I believe that that's what I wanted. That's what I saw. That's, I want that right there. Until I got older and saw that those relationships were volatile. Those relationships didn't last long. And as I got older, I was like, no, I want I want Bob from accounting who got his stuff together and is quiet, you know, <laughs> don't laugh at me, but you know what I'm saying, right? Yeah, right. He, he stays to himself. Nobody's all up in his business, you know, to the point that it, the relationship wouldn't be a secret, but it will still be private. Okay. It took me a while. It took me a all while, right. but you live and you learn. All right. I got two more questions in this sec. Actually, I got more than two more questions, but I'm going to ask two more questions and I got to move on to the next section. Because we're, uh, I don't want to run out of time here. Um, and I'm gonna miss Miss Kendra down there. I'm actually gonna bring you up in a little bit for this particular question. But here's a question for the ladies: Why is it important to you for your man to be your partner? I think it's, um, I think it's very important for my man to be my partner because it was times where. I was in a relationship and I felt alone, like I had to take over the weight and I'm young still. So it's like, it was, it was overwhelming because it felt like after a while we was just being a leech because I'm doing everything in my power to make sure everything good, but you just stringing, stringing me along and doing you. So I feel like it's really- Jasmine, you're, you're 27? 24. You're 24. And how, how, how old was this fella? Uh, he was um, he twenty, twenty six. So he was two years older than me. He was twenty three. And you felt like you you you, you He was what? He was twenty three, and I was twenty one. He was twenty one, twenty three year old. What twenty three year old man do you know that's got his stuff financially together? <laughs> I was young. I didn't know better. I, I, let, let me tell you something. And if if I can have one thing for our, our black woman to do. And to take out of your, your dialogue, the statement, I was young. I was young does not excuse a poor decision. Okay. Because, and, and here's the thing, and I had a conversation about this with somebody else, about, you know, I, I tell a lot of our ladies, you're 23, 24 years old women, your husband is not in your age bracket. Because that, that, that brother isn't there yet. Ooh. He isn't there yet. I remember what I remember what I was doing at twenty at twenty three years old. Couldn't I, not not enough to have no no wife. I had I had three roommates, and I used to recycle bottles to buy ramen noodles and stuff, and to you know, you know to try to get food and pay rent. I I'm agree. I I'm agree. I agree with you, TJ, when you say that, that he's not in our age group. Um, just to think back, uh, I had, a, a, I guess, a boyfriend, a partner that was about 10, maybe 11 years my senior. And my mom could not stand him. But I was like, I want him. Because he already had everything together. I, I would think I was about 20, 21. He already had everything together. You know, he had the house, the car. You know, everything, a, a great job. So, and I was like, I don't have to worry about him saying he can't. That's one thing I hated growing up was that I can't do. If I ask you. Don't no be, woman want no man. Go to their man and he say, I can't. Yeah. That, like, that ain't got nothing to do with no age. That's across no, the board. But I mean, still, you know, Miss Lisa, Miss Lisa down here, 61 years old. Uh, if her man came to her, she go to her man with something. She don't want to hear, I can't. So I I tell I talk to guys like that. I tell I say, don't ever tell your woman you can't. Mm -hmm. Even if you can't, don't tell her you can't. <laughs> you tell her, I'll figure it out. Yes. Yeah. yeah. That that probably would go over smoother than you know, that I part. can't. Yeah. Not right yeah. now. I can't. I'll let you no, know. No, no, no. Your we'll job see. is to, yeah, yeah. I can't. Yeah. Yeah, don't tell me you can't. That's what I'm saying. Just no, period. Yeah. And so yeah. you come back to you come back to you come you you come back to the I can't when you've gone out and done everything you could. Then you mm -hmm. come back. 
but you come back with the here's what I've done, here's what I've tried. I ain't got no other avenues. Baby, do you got any other suggestions? That's where the helpmate comes in at. But I want to get back to the question. I'm going to bring up Miss Kendra. Why is it so important um, for most of our women to um, feel like they're partners with their men? Oh, Miss Kendra, you're muted. I'm sorry. I'm muted. I, I keep muting myself. Um, you know, I'll say this. After my um, separation, um, one of the main reasons or one of the main things that I look for in a person now is a friend. I need someone who I can rely on as a friend because that is where our foundation is going to come in. Um, that allows us to be partners, to be able to discuss any and everything. Um, I want him to be able to be fully who he is and I want to be able to be fully who I am. So um, in order for us to come together and to be successful in a relationship, we've got to be partners and partners should be able to um, to share who they are completely. Okay. Miss Kendra, I, I don't have your sheet in front of me. You, you, you have children, right? Yes. Okay. Partners. Okay. So let me ask this question. Um, do you think a man should be responsible for his woman and his family? Yes. So if I have to be responsible for my woman and my family, how is that person my partner when I'm responsible for you? We're but we're working together. So I'll say uh, I say that too. I'm not I don't expect for a man to um it, it, it just depends. I think it depends on the person because everybody's going to be different. You're not going to have any two people that are exactly the same. So whatever situation or whatever person you choose, y'all have to determine what that means for you. Mm -hmm. um, um, I'm going to push a little bit on this one. So you have children, right? Yes. Okay. And you're responsible for your children, right? Mm -hmm. Are your children your partners? They're not my partners. We're, that's a different relationship though. My children yeah. is that's a different relationship. And see, and where I'm looking at for our, for our men, when we look at about responsibility and mm -hmm. make being responsible, we don't really look at you like you are children's, but we protect you like you are. 